85 South Show, the big business tour. Come on, man. We changing it up on them, bro. We done big already business. went out here and showed them that we ghetto legends and we done. We done. I think we done Act did the three-legged monsters. We done did all types. I don't know who the fuck came up with that name. The three-legged monster. The three-legged monster. <laughs> but that's exactly what I'm talking about. We Big business tour. Monsters. The three-legged monsters. On our way to Baltimore, we're gonna be at okay. the Chesapeake. Employees Insurance Arena. Yeah. The employers. I think we already understand that they don't have insurance in that arena still. But the employees have insurance. Which what they up? should. It's going to be June, June 1st, 1st and the 2nd. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you tell me we, we we done sold out one, we had to add another. Yeah, June 1st. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why we promoting that. That show sold out. We had to Damn. add June 2nd. And so what we doing? All the people who can't make it to June 1st, come, on. come to the second show that has on, been on. added. In Baltimore. At the cheese shake, man. Cheese, oh Lord, that ain't, that's, that's Chesapeake. That shit didn't look like a like cheese cake. nigga said cheese cake. It's Chesapeake, my nigga. Chesapeake. <laughs> okay, okay. I ain't see the Chesapeake. Man, hurry up and get them tickets, <laughs> oh, Man, Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this. Check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that? Light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there, that's if you're still living, grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. Yeah. See, my nigga, you went out there with money. I went out there, I ain't had no money. Me and my girl went out there, and we went to that timeshare shit. Cause okay. they give you free money, right? But that shit take up, they, I was like, I told her, I said, we ain't buying shit. Yeah. We ain't doing none of this shit now. Come yeah. on, stay on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna give us 600 credits and 600 uh, goddamn, uh, exactly. uh, 300 fucking whatever. Man, we did that shit. We was at that bitch for about four hours. We went back. We spent all the money. We had 300 left. The last thing before we left, my girl pulled that shit in the slot and hit that bitch. And we What's left for mean? like 1,800. Oh shit, I won. Yeah. My first time gambling was on a boat. On a, my first time going to the casino was on a boat. Mississippi? No, I was on a cruise. Okay. Mm. But I think that's the worst possible place to go gambling. Like, Cause where the fuck you gonna run to? <laughs> you go to your room. <laughs> go to the room. And you bored. Nigga. You sitting there like that much of one five hundred. You got one another five hundred. I can't win again. I go won thirty racks, but right. I threw up on the money. I was sick. sick. <laughs> hey man, the boat fucking moved. <laughs> I felt the bitch go off balance, nigga. No nah, man, as soon as I roll the motherfucker, you gotta keep this motherfucker steady. And then on my first time, I was playing blackjack. I got blackjack three straight times. So the dealer was like, what the fuck, Kyrie? What, you got a fucking rapper foot in your pocket? I'm like, nah, this is my first time. He's like, oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like, you know, I'm thinking that's how it go. Hell yeah, man, I went back upstairs, came back down, and I was broke hell on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> and then where's it going? I broke on the boat. No. You got a car, nigga. You oh, ain't got man. no service. Oh, man. You don't know where the fuck this boat at or nothing. <laughs> this shit can't get back fast enough. No, nah, for sure. That shit. I, we played it in Mississippi Casino. Yeah. I can only play blackjack if I'm drunk. You gotta I, be drunk when you gamble. I zone out. Too many out. nerves. I get drunk when I gamble. I don't even drink that much unless I'm gambling. Because you're nervous. I ain't never heard nobody say there might be some truth to that, bro. That's some shit that can go on Mythbusters. What? Bro. You gotta get drunk to gamble. I don't know. I don't worry bro. about everybody, but I got, like, my nerves, like, I be thinking too much when I'm gambling. Mm. So I, I take about two, three shots. Get the focus. Get the, you know what I mean? You can loosen up a little bit because it's all mental, it's all confidence. It's all believing I'm finna hit this shit. You gotta suck yourself up. Mm. Once you hit for your first good amount of money, this shit like fucking a bitch. When you hey. first ever fucked me, first got some pussy. Before, before you ever got some pussy, it's kind of timid. Then you got some pussy, you're like, I might do this shit. Yeah, then you got shit. some more pussy. Then you fucked a bad bitch. You, nobody can tell you shit. Now you know, like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Same way with government. It's attainable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can win. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can't. We can't what we sounding like on the ones and we twos? We good? We now situated? We good. All right, bet. Hey, welcome back man, to the Let's get it. Come on, man. All right, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. We, we are one of the coldest it. niggas out here today, man. They putting a hell of a movement together mm -hmm. out here in these Atlanta streets, them. man. You know, they I might they might the be asleep, but we ain't sleep over here at the 85 South nah, Show, man. Know. It's going to be a quick intro because we already talking good shit. None other than Rico Cash. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Hey, Welcome to the trap, G. Cut it out. Rico Cash. Man, how you go, been? Baby. Man, working, man. Grinding, man. You know, new father, so it's like... It's uh, a, it's how a, old, bro? Congratulations three on Three months. Three months? Oh, oh, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. This your first one? That's my first one. I, my son right. just turned two. Congratulations, appreciate man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But it's an adjustment, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I've been really chilling like the last three months. I've really been kind of slowing down a little bit, just chilling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's different. Like, some niggas don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I care, so I'm there, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm really paying attention, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's that shit matter. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that's a shirt right there. I, I care, care so I'm there. there. Yeah. That's a bar. Yeah. On mamas, nigga. I need yeah, my, that's the Black Father model. That's my player <laughs> father merch. I need my 20%. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm saying for you, nigga. Right, that's right, nigga. I ain't got no, no we'll work it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I need my 20%, no nigga. I was going to give you off the just player game, <laughs> yeah. but now I need my 20%. There now. you go. Yeah. On mamas. <laughs> No, that's hard that's though. Crazy. I care so I'm there. Yeah, give you I a new perspective. Though, huh? 2024. So that's the main mm, thing. That's why yeah. you got it kind of like me. I slowed it down. I'm like, damn, that shit, shit different a little bit. You said you go to casinos, you stay out the streets gambling. Was that the decision or you made that decision for your son? Oh, I've been made that. Oh, I so you was nigga, already, you, yeah. When I seen that get smoked at a crowd, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's over. Okay. I'm cool. Yeah. Man, Rico, catch him up to this movement that you putting down, man. To the people who don't know, all the people who watch it, man. Give yourself a brief intro. Rico Cash, man. You know, if y'all motherfuckers sleep, y'all need to wake up, man. I just dropped a project, 1,008 Degrees. Uh, 1,008 Degrees. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've been, been seeing the promo around oh, yeah, the city, man. Yeah, I got the billboards in the trade, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? We just working, baby. It's, it's, all about, it's all about working. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no time limit on this shit. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Yeah. It's Atlanta on top of that, so shit. You know, the sky the limit. Yeah. With sad oh, shit, man. man. Yeah, nah, for sure. Forever. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know Flabby on I that. Boy, all... I wear my boy DC with him, oh, man. You know man. Him. Yeah, yeah, cause it's like I wanted I wanted to ask him something, do he remember? Cause you know, we like the same age. So we came up around the same time. Like, I remember he was rapping with Polo Kids and Yeah. And, and, you know what I mean, and Richard them and niggas like and we all came up around same time. So mm -hmm. I just remember seeing nigga grind. I'm just proud of him. You know what I'm saying? It'd be funny, like, 15 years later, seeing where everybody in Atlanta don't grew to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all of us remember when we was trying to find a, find a name. We, just, we right. had no name. Right. Everybody was trying to build. Right. And we was 15, 14. Right. You know what I'm saying? For real. How long you been rapping? I started rapping when I was 17. No, I started rapping when I was 15. But I, I signed my first deal when I was 17. I signed a block. I signed the block when I was 17. Cold. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And got down. I signed the Sony when I was 18. So, you know, that was early. Like, you gotta think, like, niggas come to Atlanta now and think Atlanta always been like yeah. this, but it ain't always been like this. Right. It That's why you say you fuck with Jody. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I guess yeah, exactly. Because yeah. he was one of the niggas that brought a nigga in and shit early when I was signing the block. And it's <clears> like, <throat> even niggas like DC, like, pioneered, nigga, pioneered the way for niggas in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And Everybody who's from Atlanta, don't get me wrong, it ain't nothing against niggas who not here, but the ones who from here, born and raised, we all remember when we was all trying to come up yeah. before a lot of niggas came. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now it's it's free game. Everybody come out here. Right. But it wasn't always like right. that. Right. Even if it was, it wasn't at this level though. You feel right. what I'm saying? So But motherfuckers had to make it for that shit to be. Nigga had to, exactly. Yeah. Now, yeah. Some niggas blew up and you see this nigga blow up and you see so much traction and so much money don't been brought to the city and so many niggas came. Chasing this nigga opportunity, but we all remember when we was all trying to find a way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got to think of plenty of niggas not here no more. Plenty of niggas don't came and fell off, and some niggas, some niggas, some niggas process a little bit faster than others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like to be real, like go back to DC. Like when we was kids, we would never, we, we couldn't see that, we couldn't see that far. You know what I'm saying? And it's to go that like that for a lot of niggas. Niggas just trying to figure niggas it out. Niggas trying to figure it out. And look now, niggas, a lot of niggas we grew up with in these areas. It's superstars. So talk about some of that shit. Like, so motherfuckers was at clubs doing shows, yeah, niggas was at talent shows. Niggas shit. was at Detour. Okay. Niggas was at the bowling alley. 
All of us was in cliques. All of yeah. us was in crews. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, we was got down, like my brother agreed over there, we was Phil Ward crew. We was 5WC, we was Young Money Savage. Uh, DC them was Polo Kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? They right. and, and they ran with my buddy them. Uh, they was BBU. Right. They was all from Adamville and, and Zone 4. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now look, like some niggas I went up through there, some niggas not here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy, bro. The really just if you just look at it, like the level that some niggas don't reach. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Yeah. At a young age. I yeah. love it though. But you see I how the whole you Atlanta know. be connected though. But yeah. it, it's yeah. that whole, it's that whole iron sharper iron. Yeah. You if you ain't around motherfuckers doing shit, you probably ain't gonna be shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like you find that friendly your way. competition. Yeah. It was dry. The whole it went our way friendly though. Oh okay. okay yeah. It went our way friendly because <laughs> no, some of these not. niggas. Could we grow up beef with some of these yeah. niggas? You know what I'm saying? Some niggas we grew up beefing with, some niggas we didn't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas, it just, cr but it's not, but now that we grown, now that a lot of us like late 20s, 30s, now to me it's just crazy watching the younger generation now like, damn, these niggas 15, 16, like, but they so much goddamn far ahead than we was because they got all these goddamn, they got everything in their lap. Oh, they got phones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas 16, shit, nigga like a grown man now. You feel me? <laughs> See, like yeah, these yeah, niggas yeah, yeah, Hey man, you too you old. You prom pictures, nigga. nigga. You 16, you too old to be a water boy, man. Oh yeah, hell you yeah. You gotta yeah. stop walking up on my car. On my mama, I said, you Cause 16, I was, I was, I was you out here by 16. You so I had to start man. thinking like, <laughs> nigga, you begging, nigga. You 16, nigga, you need to get your, you need to get a job, nigga. Man. I ain't getting your ass, I ain't giving you shit, nigga. You need to get a job or go hit a lick or something, nigga. You but I'd rather you be for water than Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean I, I, yeah, I fuck with you every yeah. now and then, but I'm just like, bro, come on, guys. Leave this the, for the, for the boy, for the kids. 16 is the age limit. I think that's the age. I think. some motherfuckers, though. They got t-shirts and everything. And some of them kids just big. I'm sorry, if you the big kid. Stay over there. And with I got you one little nigga, I don't know his name, but that's my little nigga though. And every time he see my car, he be like, Rick, come on with it. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I just fucked you last week, bro. I ain't. Bro, it's hot every day. You gotta drink water every day. It's actually a genius if you think about nigga, it. I keep yeah. fucking with you, nigga. You gonna have a car better than mine. That's how I'm starting to look at it. Like, I ain't gonna yeah. keep giving your ass got that money every day. Yeah. Yeah, that is a lick. <laughs> every day. The crazy they ain't making a the killing out there. What? Yeah. Cause it's what true. if everybody gave you what I just gave? They is good money. They got some money on my ass, so yeah, they getting money. Damn. And they gonna pressure your ass. You gonna feel like you supposed to give them money. And I feel sorry for nigga from out of town. Oh man. Cause they don't know where they stand. They don't know where they going against. I ain't got no cash on cash app. I got cash app. Next thing you know, they phone in your hand. White ladies they probably riding around. Yeah. We gotta help those little boys. <laughs> like <those girls. laughs> it's some white ladies that went through the whole Atlanta. We gotta help all of these little boys. <laughs> she done gave everybody five dollars a piece. They stole my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Did she see them again? Man. And this time they want ten dollars. Right. I know they making some money though. I don't never I take the water. I think they expanded. Though. I think some of them went to Houston. We used to do that shit too though. Oh, mama. But we used to call it um. Uh, we used to call it hitting air, like probably when I was like 12, 13. We used to do the fundraiser shit. And I used to call it papers. Oh. And we'd go like, hey man, we play for the uh, the Southwest Atlanta Strikers. That's it's why like I don't believe them now. Cause yeah. one time a young nigga came up to me, he had a tattoo. I was like, bro, ain't no way you in the ninth grade and you got a tattoo that fucking big. Bro, this nigga, on my, what sport do you play, nigga? nigga this see, on my it mama. ain't even time for this. Nigga, this on my mama. I was walking in public and a nigga walked up to me like, Bro, you can help my fundraiser, bro. You can help my football team, bro. He had on the hood, when he lit up his hood, he had a tattoo in the middle of his face, and a tattoo right here. I'm like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm like, dang, you kind of old. So he was like, he said something. So I walked in, I walked in the public. I'm like, man, I'm telling my little bro, I'm like, man, get on point, man. This nigga tripping. Mm -hmm. But the nigga walked through the goddamn public, he whipped his gun out, walked past. I'm like, that man grown as hell, man, man, like 19. Mm -hmm. All I told nigga I ain't want no water. So we finna kill each other about cause I ain't wanna give you no money. What? I swear to he God. He whipped out right. because he whipped out like what? he whipped out, he didn't whip out on me. Yeah, yeah. But he whipped out. But he whipped right. out like Shit. he walked through public cause he felt tried. Yeah. I can't remember the exact words, but I was like, yeah, like you called bro. his bluff. I'm like, like bro, right. hell nah, bro, you old right. as hell, like, nah, hell nah. He's, yeah. You like, all right, bet, nigga. All right. I'm like, what? Right. I'm like, what? So it really it was the little nigga I was with for. Cause he was like, nigga, he said, bro said he ain't want shit. He was like, all right, bet. So I seen a nigga come through the public. He came back through. I'm like, man, what the hell? 
Oh, what Publix is this? So I don't go this, over there. This is Atlantic <laughs> Station Publix. Oh, okay. Oh. What's up? Have you recently had an accident? How you gonna rebuild? By calling the law offices of Brandon Dixon. That's right. Now check this out. He said he don't even want no money unless they win. And even if you do win and you use the code 85 South, he'll give you a discount on your attorney fees up to $850. Ain't that right, Brandon? Absolutely. <laughs> That's what it is then. Give them the phone number so they can call you and they'll have to call me. So you can call 404-884-8991 or you can visit the website brandondixonlaw.com. And if you tell them you heard about it on the 85 South Show, they give you a discount on your attorney fees. Listen to this, up to $850. I didn't say that man was going to give you $850. I ain't even say $850. I just said it's up to. Absolutely. That's between y'all. So once you make the call, make sure you mention the 85 South Show. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's super ghetto yeah. over there. Nah, I'm saying, but you would think it wouldn't be like that in that station. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> nah. Yeah, Not me. That's crazy. I mean, that's Atlanta, though, now, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know where you at. Hey, man, me. just come up with something else. Anything, dog. Yeah. Once you aged out. Sell me something, like, sell me something. Come on, bro. The f you ain't even selling me nothing to my help me with my way. You just asking me for money. That's basically. what's going on right now. In general, nobody's selling nothing. That's why everybody getting robbed and shit. Man, yeah. you, it, it, and, and, and hustle different. Why you want to hit, why you want to hit the motherfuckers that look like you? Go near the white people. Say that you rescuing animals. You taking donations, <laughs> get you some pictures from the kennel, mm -hmm. post hey. that shit, this is the dogs we saved, and watch Ooh. how you make out. Shit, if they, don't, if they don't, I will. Yeah, watch I how you help. make out. That's how, shit. Go for watch you how you make out. out Come on, man. Mm. And, you can, and you can work with the tattoos and shit. I'm a reform. I learned how to train dogs in prison, and now I've changed my life. Nigga, make it a story. Nigga, sell that shit. Just get a put. Just get the tattoo turned to a put. Man, that's all you gotta do. Yeah, white people love get puppies. a little bone. Dog, man. yeah, man, not no dogs. Oh, need a V. Nigga, any animal. That's what thing niggas is selling them Frenchies. Any animal. I'm trying to say the extinct. Niggas animal. sell the Frenchies, and they want what they want for oh, them too. Man. man, nigga, try to sell Frenchies twenty thousand. For what? Yeah, that's crazy. No, you know the. The dog, That's crazy. what type of style it is, nothing. Well, that dog they just know it's a Frenchie. It's about 20,000. <laughs> like, he probably just be like, oh, yeah, People yeah, be yeah, treating them dogs yeah. different, bro. I seen a nigga on Instagram. He had, like, a little wave cap on his dog nuts. <laughs> hey, that that made me a hundred racks off them nuts. I can keep it. I was like, man, this shit's That's crazy. crazy. That cap on the man, they had a little, a little wave cap tied around the dog's shack, man. <laughs> That's trying to protect his nuts? Yeah, you ain't seen this no. shit? No. Man, the niggas who be breeding them dogs, they got a, a, a sack cover for them now. Man, hold on. What's up? Hold <laughs> All right. I ain't make that shit up. Nigga, have a helmet on them motherfuckers. Where you? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait. I ain't gonna lie, though. I feel them. 100000 off a dog. Shit. Yeah, that's the new But I, they, they the most they expensive they goddamn dogs. They some of the most expensive dogs, and they don't do shit. I ain't never seen one of them dogs do nothing. They go up on Instagram, no them Instagram time. dogs. They ain't never got no slippers. I ain't never did no, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, half the time at the airport, they don't even be walking. They don't do tricks. I ain't seen no tricks out them bitches. I ain't even seen them on TikTok dancing or nothing. Oh, $7,000, you gotta roll up. Yeah, my dog better like, have a dog. I don't remember dogs being this special though growing up though, like. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. I don't remember shit. They was free. Like yeah, exactly. The same dog. Yeah, back in the day. Oh, where you find that dog at? Run the car. Where that little big eyed motherfucker come from? My partner said a dog for fifty thousand dollars a dog, man. What I'm kind? Wrong say Frenchy. Frenchy. That's yeah. crazy. What the multicolor or some shit? Nah, I ain't gonna. I don't know shit about this shit. Damn it. I need to. I, I, I do. If it's fifty thousand, I need to have. He's yeah. selling out fifty thousand dollars a dog. That's the, what the gamble is right there. That's what you gamble on. Imagine when yeah. when you lose one of the puppies though. That's like the pimp game. Niggas pimping Frenchies pimping, right now. Pimping yeah. 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 They can pimping everything now, though. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. They pimping everything. Yeah. Everything's getting pimped. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. Everybody. That's the only thing you that's getting wrong, though. I don't you know. You can't avoid it. Watch you avoid it. I was in the Uber this morning, right? Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna put, throw this nigga up on the bus, but the nigga was like, basically, bruh. 
I canceled your ride, bro. Uh, and I just fuck with you. He said, how much they charge me? I was like, shit, $45. So I fuck with you for $30. That's cool. He said, you know how much I was, they was finna pay me for that ride? What? He was like, they was finna pay me $16 off of $45. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that makes said, sense. Yeah. What I'm for? Pimping. Yeah. yeah. That's pimping, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Uber is, he said, bro, Uber gets paid a million dollars every two days from the airport for their algorithm and their technology. That shit makes sense. And they got the niggas out there to make sure that niggas don't get free rides. Like, yeah. you can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. pimping, boy. That ain't no motherfucking man. That's Because they be out there. How much? You, you got one? Yeah. How much? I, so I don't be trusting some of them niggas at no, the Atlanta airport. Niggas, niggas, want, niggas talking about getting the car with me. You good? Nigga, I don't know. You I ain't nah, good, nigga. Nah, yeah, nah, I ain't good. Yeah. Nigga try to pull up with the truck. Nigga, that truck don't mean I trust you. Right. Yeah. Nigga, at least have a suit on or something. <laughs> this nigga pull up with regular clothes. Hey, you good, bro? <laughs> nah, you just a nigga, nigga in a Tesla. Yeah. Get <laughs> your ass out of here. Nigga, nigga, I'm home. Nigga got a Denali <laughs> truck. Nigga, you ain't got the, sh- the Chevy one. Nigga, he ain't got no tent on it or nothing. You nigga do not look safe. Nigga fuck you up, you say your name. Clay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what the fuck? You, you say fuck you talking about, I'm not getting in the truck, nigga. Bro. That's crazy, not though, but that's the most genius oh. shit. They mm-hmm. use your car. Your gas, your insurance, and then pay you a fraction of the gas. Oh, this would have killed me, yeah. The sixteen dollars didn't include gas. Mmm, damn. And if somebody tip through the app, they get a piece of that shit too. That's why. I don't oh, tip. they get the tip. No, yeah. I don't tip. I don't want to tip that yeah. app. Hell nah, for what? Niggas find any reason not to tip though. Tip, tip niggas, like, crazy. I don't tip. Tipping like, crazy. Should have tipped though. Tipping getting crazy. I just so want to know what. They had hands at twenty percent, and now then they asked me, "Do you want to give another twenty percent?" Everybody get tipped now too? Oh, it's an automatic tip. You gonna tip. I want the tip is auto, it's not a tip no more. It's this automatic. Shit crazy. Yeah, you got a tip. Oh, for real. But they want a tip on top of the tip though. Mm. Remember, take out, you just used to pay for the food. You ain't did shit. Why you I got tip you? You see this shit Webby just posted? Yeah, I seen that. Webby oh, like, yeah. nigga, can you bring me, tip me some rice, nigga? Tip me some extra rice. <laughs> yeah. The Webby be tripping. Tip me some That's extra rice. That's my tip. For real. <laughs> He's like, I can't do that. Well, I can't tip well, you. Well, I can't man. do it either. For real. Tipping used to be for people who gave you the hookup. Exactly. Like, like I went to the club. You had to do something. I bought some. I remember I had, I had a birthday party. And then, like, the birthday party, I spent, like, I think it was, like, 7500 right? So I paid for the shit. Then a the waiter came, chased me out of the club, like, no, 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 you owe another $2,000. I was like, right, for what? She was like, gratuity. Yeah. I'm like, bitch, hold on, man. Hold on, what the fuck? How the hell? What percentage is she doing? Her own percentage. Yeah. Now they be doing that. Yeah, they be doing yeah. that. That shit serious, bro. Like, man, tipping the the tip is the worst part. No. They be, they be trying to do you service to fees. Now yeah. you can't afford it because you ain't got the tip money, basically. Yeah. No, seventy five hundred. You can't afford it. No, seventy five hundred. No, that's like. It was 30, like 15, 40. I think it was like fifteen hundred, some shit like that. It's like forty percent. Twenty percent. You want to? No, that's like, more than twenty. It's way more than twenty. What? Now that's twenty percent. That's twenty percent. Seventy five hundred, fifteen hundred is twenty percent. Oh well, two thousand would be. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. <laughs> it was something like that, but yeah. it was too much. Right. right. Yeah, that's a lot of goddamn tip money. Shit. I stay out them goddamn high ass club. They in there selling thirty dollar bottles of liquor for three thousand yeah. dollars. And they don't treat <laughs> you the same, man. And they be and every club don't got the right lights and man, bottles. Treat me I don't like, like I... them lights that that motherfuckers just be a stick and it be a little light. If I spend some money, nigga, I want to see fireworks, all type of shit in the club. I'm bringing out that little raggedy nah, ass flashlight. Nah, nigga, that shit only come out when you buy multiple bottles, Ragged. nigga. Mm-hmm. That shit don't come out for one bottle no more. I know, that's what it is. One huh? bottle, you get embarrassed, nigga. They came out and shot fireworks. A bitch did a flip. And that bitch called 900 Yeah. Dollars. You got one bottle, they came out, bitch, like, just shoved it in your face. <laughs> just do the tricks. She don't, the one who brought your bottle don't even have an outfit on. She is. She got on a chef outfit. The lady she came is. straight out of the kitchen. Who ordered this? <laughs> huh. Here you go, baby. Happy birthday. <laughs> you ain't even seen the little bad bitches yeah. over here. <laughs> That's when you order three of them. <laughs> and that bitch already open. They already popped that motherfucker. You ain't get a chance to pop it. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. It's for safety. Bro, the club then turned into some bullshit. What about the club where they got to pour it for you? Only I can pour it. Bitch, if you don't get around me. <laughs> I just spent how much on this shit? 
So you just go stand around the board of liquor? <laughs> well, get busy, bitch. <laughs> pour everybody in the club a shot. You gonna get to work nah, tonight. Nah, she gonna pour herself a shot. <laughs> right, right. Your boy, that's crazy, bro. They do be trying to have a good time with you. Do. Oh, mama's, huh? Right. Bitch be dancing and shit. Bitch don't, don't shit. have the bottle. Hold on, I gotta pay for the bottle. Pay gratuity on top of gratuity. Yeah, and you don't have the bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bitch, you should be having a whole time. Her, uh, bitch, you coming with us. Hey, yeah. I lean. She I got her own hookah in the section. Sure. Who hook is that? That's mine. That's mine. I, <laughs> I don't got brought y'all one too. No the fuck. Hey man. I, I had just, to whisper in one bitch here. I said, if you rap one more song, I'm going to make you put it in on the bottle. <laughs> For real. <laughs> you ain't having too much uh, fun, bitch. You just walking to pour liquor because girls is playing too much game, Uh-oh, though. Bitch, you ain't going to be playing me. Atlanta got too much game, though. You got to stop singing coming into this section. everybody down here, so we're just full of game. Yeah. yeah. Bartender going to walk up. She going to try you. You don't go. She going to try your partner. Like you said, she going to order the hookah. And then the end, like, you like, how the hell I had 12 hookahs? I don't, we only had 10. Right. She no, smoked six of them. Got hookahs. Who told y'all? Right. He did. He be like, bro, you told it? Like, nah, no. she said. Right. She, she, she just asked me, she I like hookahs. She and I was just, like, yeah. And, that was, <laughs> and she came with two hookahs. <laughs> Bitch, ain't nobody told you to bring the hookah, though. <laughs> y'all smoke hookah? Y'all smoke hookah? Yeah. Man. No. From time to time. What you didn't see was <laughs> the, 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 the chick behind your back. Yeah, yeah. That's you don't know who that is. Because they know what they can overcome. That's Rico Cash. Okay. Yeah. He gonna pay you in cash. Right, that's how they should really go though. Like, <laughs> once you, once you build a re- reputation in your club, they be ready to drop. Oh, they, they, they get the green light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get the green light on you. Oh, he in here. <laughs> Hit that switch oh, they, on they his scamming ass. everywhere. Man, this shit crazy. You can't even get a hundred ones, honestly, in this city. Honey, you gonna get seventy six. Seventy six dollars. You be like, this band on these ones is loose as hell. <laughs> Hey, man, no way this is Hey, can you hear me? I remember $100 in ones look like this. Man, that shit man. Man, man, no. gonna be so stuck together. You Come on, man. You, yeah. The money, like, it just it ain't even, they don't even appreciate it no more. They better. You might not took all type of riff for this money. They don't give a damn. We gonna, you gonna give her 2000 we gonna give you 1400 in ones. And we gonna send 50 bitches to your city. That's <laughs> crazy. And send a blitz. Man, a blitz of bitches. Man, I hate. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> blitz See, I got bitches. somebody with me. I take to the club though. I don't pick no bitches in the strip club. Uh-huh. Either my girl gonna pick the bitches, or if I'm not with my girl, I got somebody specific. I'm. I ain't gonna. I'm letting Morgan pick the bitches. Cause, right. Cause it's too many of them. It's fifty bitches. I can't. What I'm supposed to do? Yeah, they like, over there like this. They right. like ants like, out this nah, motherfucker. I mean, appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that should be, that shit like cockroaches, for real. Yeah, it's hey, ants. Man, yeah, they man. really like cockroaches. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch trying to tell you jokes and everything. Man, stop it. Man. They be networking Bro, out here. Bro, if you book that at a club, they gonna get the DM of you before you walk in the club. Like, hey, big head. You come, I heard you come into so-and-so tonight. You be like, man, look, man. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, I'll see you there. I was listening to your song earlier. I really like it. You don't know two lyrics in my goddamn song. Nah, the strippers is rapping now. That's why well, they I mean, in their networking. Do, and they're shaking your ass. You know I got a mixtape out too. <laughs> Hold on, bitch. Do you like me or are you trying to get on my album? No, right. she want to be on nah, your she ass. She the fucked up part is you going to find one that's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Talk like, about this booty shit. hole brown. Like, this shit is kind of cool. <laughs> you keep fucking with me. Yeah. This is yeah. really authentic. I was looking at her booty hole is brown. <laughs> Next I day, met her before she blew up. Yeah. Next thing you know, you be doing the ad libs on all her shit. You on her shit talking about skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you, gotta yeah. respect, you gotta respect it though. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a hustle. <laughs> it's gonna be one of these bitches that, yeah, you get her on the song, she gonna diss you on the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, this nigga I'm taking him for his bread. Hey, bitch. Yeah, he drove me up here today. That's well, right. I don't did that before. I don't, I don't be in the studio with a bitch and be like, I ain't going to lie, be geeked up. You know, say some shit. She be like, you was talking about, hell nah, man. Hell nah, I don't want to do that. Kick this bitch out as soon as I finish out. this verse. <laughs> <laughs> soon as I stop. Why you got to? What are you talking about? <laughs> man, you know, I, man, oh, you know that girl. Are we was, good? <laughs> we good? <laughs> it sounds like you were talking about studio me. kid. I, <laughs> but you kicked me out last session. Nah, I wasn't even talking about you though. Who was you talking about? <laughs> then I did it tripping like, damn, I'm tripping. 
fuck. Uh, that that's shit be man. crazy. Yeah, you gotta wait till she leave at least, man. You can't do it while she there. But but, how, but you know, like nobody really write music these days no more. I don't, I never really wrote music, but I just always go with my feeling at the time. So you'll be in such a zone. You got You've been on it. really tripped out, like this some dumb shit, like. Like, you make me mad in the studio, I might be like, this nigga Carlos brrr, and say it right there. He's like, God damn. Damn. <laughs> hey, man, bring that beat back up, Rico. Shit. <laughs> give a fuck if you put it on the album, but I'm going to say something back. Niggas come to the studio and want to smoke all your weed. <laughs> I ain't going to say your name, though. <laughs> nigga ain't going to say your name, though. <laughs> nigga had one blunt the whole time. <laughs> uh-huh. Jokes like that, though. Uh-huh. Jokes, like, jokes telling jokes is like that, uh-huh. though. You yeah. ain't going to say a nigga name I ain't going to say a name like this nigga smoking all these weed. Nigga ain't yeah. let it blunt once. Yeah. yeah. Who you talking about? Man, shout out with these niggas the other day. <laughs> Me? For sure. You talk about? Your, your, your partner can be selling hella dogs. She be like, you know I'm tired of niggas that be selling hella dogs and shit talking about it. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller back again with BetterHelp. We all carry around different stresses, big and small. When we keep them bottled up, it can start to affect us negatively. Whether you're lashing out or shutting down. Therapy is a safe space to get things off your chest and to go figure out how to work through whatever's weighing you down. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85 South today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash 85 South. You be like, you talking about your partner, but you know, you just don't Nigga, say his name. Nigga, dog for 50 racks, I told him not me. <laughs> what? Whoa. Rico, you said you love my dogs, yeah. man. Not your you dog. just posted them on your story, not, not your dog, bro. I just posted your dog. I'm talking about buddy dogs, man. <laughs> Nigga, where did all this hate come from? Yeah. Like, this is something you want to say. Put around me on that Eddie. You be tripping. Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. Well, I guess you just got to let people know if they're in the studio, which, hey, I'm not responsible for spray, what I say. Yeah, I'm yeah. in artist mode. Yeah, yeah. You catch a scrape, you catch one. Shit. Yeah, I'm good. You got to watch that, That's man. part of the creative process, man. Yeah, yeah. That shit can't happen if you're going to restrict what a nigga, hey, nigga, hey. You need creative food. I need to be able to think what I think. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, though. I ain't going for that, though. Nigga in the studio dissing me while I'm in the studio. Yeah, but you punch your ass in the back of the head while you were talking. This nigga a bully. Slap the headphones out of me. Hey, nigga, don't be in here doing what the fuck I'm doing. You said what, nigga? But you said you don't be saying that name. You might just say the situation. I don't do it often, but I don't did it, though. Like, I got this song until I was on the bitch ass, too. And she said it like, you want to talk about me? I'm like, hell no, man. You a narcissist. You think every song about you. No, this is what I did. This is what I'm tripping. I did it. She asked me about it. Then I got on the song and said, "Bitch, I ain't gonna, bitch, you ain't. I ain't talking about you on no song." <laughs> <laughs> on the song, I said, "Bitch, I ain't talking about you on no song." So at that point, they're like, "Nigga, now come on now. I know you talking about me." <laughs> he got too specific. Yeah, and that bitch on the first verse. <laughs> let me tell you about her. That's what song they double up? I said, "Bitch, I ain't, nah, I forgot how the song goes." That's right. funny as shit. Tripping. Nigga. I won't see that. I shit, was fresh man. out too. I was just tripping. I ain't give a fuck. <laughs> bitch, bitch, what you gonna do? Oh. You gonna leave? <laughs> shit. Damn, man. Because you can't leave. You hate, bitch. Now you mad. I'm rapping. Nah, bitch, you That's ain't what going. It like. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere. How you get here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That Uber driver sitting outside. If he right. want to leave, I. Just give me thirty dollars. I take her home for thirty dollars. <laughs> 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 you want to have the studio, big bro? Hey man, don't call Uber no more. Just, just hit me. call me. <laughs> I ain't gonna call her. Put my number on you in your. Uh, what is? Put my number in there, bro. I, like the, the Uber driver I rode with this morning, man. I salute his grind. I salute his hustle. Bro, this nigga told me he one of the best Uber drivers in the world, and he was dead ass here. So like I'm one of the best Uber drivers in the world. See, I don't be doing all that shit the mother Uber drivers do. He was dead ass. That nigga talked to me about every ride he don't made the last week. <laughs> the whole ride. <laughs> Niggas ain't fuck with me. I'm, I'm like, the hey, only yeah. nigga in Atlanta that got hand sanitizer in the back and the front. I'm like, the only nigga? I'm just like, the only nigga? Bro, look at what I did, uh, 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 though. Look at what, no, 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 bro, look at what I did. 
You see how that passenger seat is scooted all the way up? That's so, that's what you get. You can lean back in here, man. Hit that button by the one. No, that let the one down. Hit that other button. Me say you can stretch out. I just got these tires put on this motherfucker. Look how smooth. Look, I ain't even holding the wheel. You see, I stopped smoking. I don't slam on the brake. Hey, man. <laughs> you could drink coffee in my shit. <laughs> <Can't read it. laughs> so he more, but he was more like talking about how he be like beating the system though. Uh, I mean, I ain't gonna fuck up. I ain't gonna put a game out there. But uh, I respect it though, cause you shit, could probably need it. Yeah. I know. Right? When, I, when you talking to me, that's what I, was, that's, I was listening. I'm like, shit, what you doing makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I, I said that, and he went on and on and on. Yeah, that's like why. he was literally like, yeah, I made it ride yesterday, man. It was five. It was, it was. It, it was an hour away. It was 80 minutes, $80, and I'm like, all right, cool. And he's like, then I made a ride yesterday. See, I'm one of the best Uber drivers in the world. See, I, I'm like, all right, bro, God damn. That'd be the worst ones. Man, that you shit don't, annoying as fuck. Well, you don't ask another question after, and they just keep going. Matter of fact, shit. You got, that's when you call somebody. Like, hold on, bro, hold on, hold on. You call I, I throw the headphones on. Oh, yeah, that, that you rude as <laughs> fuck, bro. Oh, mamas, I ain't he trying to hear it. none of that shit. You know they got the thing where you can say quiet now. Man, I done declined three rads fucking with you, man. You know I fuck with you if yeah. I'm declining, man. <laughs> my, nigga, <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga Smoke act like he on his Bluetooth. <laughs> Shut up, old bitch ass nigga. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm on my Bluetooth. <laughs> that's Smoke. That's my nigga Smoke, man. <laughs> yeah, that's hella <laughs> crazy. do that shit. I'd be like, nigga, shut up, bro. Hell yeah, no. Nah. Is it consequences having cash in your name? Everybody asks you for money. Yeah, yeah. Nigga don't hit me with that. Like, nigga, you Rico cash. I'm Rico today. I ain't got no cash for you. Right. <laughs> when I'm on the budget, I'm Rico. Yeah, nigga, I'm don't Rico. Nigga, I'm Rico cash. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get some money with your name. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, though. It's getting outrageous, though, how many people are asking for money, though. Like, that shit really get overwhelming, like, to the point where you be like, the audacity that some people got to ask you for money is crazy, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like motherfuckers be DMing me all type of shit, their whole life story. I'm like, I was just wondering, could you help me with $7,500? $7,500? You might as well ask for 10 bands. Man, people crazy. I told you that lady DM me, asked me to buy her a van so she could travel through the desert doing holistic medicine. What? Dude, we need that in the hood. She said, "If I buy her Fuck a van, you going to the desert for a bit. she could go through the she'll go through Arizona just doing holistic medicine and healing people." I was like, "So what do they got to do with me?" Exactly. We need healing. You gonna heal? You? I'm not. I don't live in Arizona. That's what I'm saying. Just come on. <laughs> I don't live in Arizona. You could be. We people get old, man. Nah, people we get people you a little crazy. food truck. They get close to him out there. The motherfuckers get asked for all type of <laughs> Hey, you know what he mainly will be doing? I think that's him. He uh when people ask him for like send the money to the cash app, mm-hmm. he'll just keep asking, like, did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll try to act like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like it's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> that's smart. I ain't never thought of that. I got a partner in jail, man. I got out of jail March 17th. 2021. Oops. That nigga asked me for some money in March 19, 2021. Yeah, you didn't even have <laughs> time to go get that. Nigga, I'm still in the pussy, bro. I ain't even came out the pussy yet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me for some money, I ain't been out of jail 48 hours, bro. <clears throat> Man, I ain't DM the nigga back yet. Damn. I hope he watched it. That's why I ain't DM you back, nigga. I ain't responding yeah. back yet. Damn. Because you got all destiny. Let me get home money. good. Man, bro. Nigga can't even get out. It- Man, send him a twenty or something, man. <laughs> twenty. At least a twenty, man. <laughs> I sent him. I sent him. I sent him like twenty dollars in. But damn, uh, that twenty you... gonna cost your ass a lot of twenties. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. But then I got so many. You got to think like so many niggas. Niggas in when you been in jail, you around all the niggas in jail. But then you get out of jail, they still in there, and they all got one thing in common. They was locked up with your ass. Mm. So now all of them like shit. Boy, I know I can have Rico for some. Damn. Oh, I never thought of that. <coughs> Damn. You might be locked up with, in a couple months, man, you might be locked up with up to five, ten thousand 10,000 niggas. It's just gone. Yeah. So when you get out, then niggas just got phones now. Yeah, that's fucking up the game. So now niggas like, shit, bro, I been seeing you out there. I seen you in the club last night. You spent about 10,000 on my whole. Send me a little hunger. 
Shit, that ain't a bad idea, though. Shit, if I seen it, I'm in the cell. A nigga living a, his life. It's, it is a bad idea when 50 niggas send it to you at one time. But look at that one nigga, though. He ain't, I ain't tell all these other niggas hit you. I'm just asking no, you. No, that's, that's, that's what they in jail. Like, yeah. yeah. We call it, we call it day. I got to talk 50 for the niggas, man. Oh, yeah, like, you ain't had to send no money yet. <laughs> hit him up. Hit him up. Right now. You talking hypothetical. I just seen these things. Right. Them niggas been playing in this shit. Hey, we calling Rico today at 7. Oh, no, nah, they we all calling. They don't load it like, up. He ain't going to tell all of us, no. No, they don't load it up. Fake time. Rico, what's up? Oh, I'm going to get your number from. Damn. Yeah. What's up with this? All right, I'm going to send y'all a nigga. We're sending us something on the block. I'm going to send y'all a hundred line now. Two days later. Hey, <laughs> Nah, Here two days. Man, we ran that little yeah. hundred, man. We ain't they trying to impress you and shit. Niggas doing dance and shit. With this Nigga, we ordered Popeye. I'm just letting you know, niggas in jail train your hundred like you ain't work at all for this motherfucker. Niggas can buy the sack. This nigga buying some shit <laughs> <laughs> for twenty five dollars. That's twenty five dollars right now. Hell no. God That's twenty five dollars. Right Hell no. Twenty five dollars worth of weed. That's twenty five dollars right now. Crow. I'm dead ass see. I put this on every now and look. That's 25 Hell. You working too hard for your money. And don't let a nigga be smoking that goddamn strip. Some shit. But they, they, man, they spending your money on bullshit. Now, if I know you really trying to grind and work your way up and provide, because you know niggas in jail providing. But if I know you finna spend my shit on drugs or alcohol. Right. I got my own motherfucking, I got my own responsibility. I might want to get drunk, so I can't get drunk because you got to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Nigga, if anybody going to get drunk, it's going to be me. Get drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get high because you want to get high? Right. Motherfucker. Oh, nah, nah, right. nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's a drunk face right there. Nigga. I be scared of niggas that get drunk and they get zoned out and shit. Yeah. That shit, that shit is some real shit. I hate shit. alcohol, man. I drink, but I hate alcohol. I hate what it do to people. Yeah. Right. I hate, I hate, I hate, I understand why prohibition was what it was. Like, alcohol is just like a drug. It is. It's oh, really it's, worse. It's the worst. It's, it's the, the worst. one we tell niggas, it's the only one we serve legally, and they'll be like, all right, don't drive on it. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, they serve it well. Bro. I got it's terrible, bro. They serve it out, but you telling niggas it not really to drive. It really brings the worst down to some people. How the fuck people. I'm gonna get back to the house then? You letting me drink right. out, but you say I can't some drive people, back? Some people, it brings yeah. the worst down to them. Yeah, That's yeah. a setup. Yeah. Damn. Damn, man. I don't like them drunk motherfuckers that fall forward. Ooh. <laughs> you know that motherfucker? Yeah. Hey, man, hey, hey. <laughs> you gotta catch them all night. <laughs> you good? I'm fine. <laughs> I hate the niggas that don't want to admit they drunk. <laughs> bro, sit down, you drunk. I ain't drunk! Yeah. <laughs> sit your dumb ass down, bro. Hey, I ain't, I ain't drunk. How, how I'm drunk? You just drunk a whole bottle, nigga? <laughs> how I'm drunk? Because you drunk! <laughs> you don't remember drinking? You didn't it drink it. Yeah, yeah, my so nigga. Like, Motherfuckers do repeating they self? I got it to one of my bros like that. I had to tell a nigga, oh, right, you ain't drunk. You been drinking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't say I'm drunk, my nigga. I drank. I was drinking. I was drinking, yeah. I don't like when females get drunk and they be like, ah, I'm finna throw up. Me like, just don't be doing that. If you really finna throw up, go to the bathroom. Don't be doing that. Ah. Not just playing. Like, nah, bitch, nah, you really bitch. drunk. You Take do up in your mouth, bitch. Bathroom. You do up in your mouth, bitch. <laughs> Do it for anybody smell it on your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch still trying to talk afterwards. Yeah, I don't get it. No, you're not. Yeah. Bitch. That's not the game. You ain't never been trying to get start crying and shit. You ain't never got you been trying to get a pussy from a bitch. Uh, and she just don't got too drunk. Yeah. And now the whole night is wrong. Yeah. And now you in between and say, like, damn, I've been drunk. Yeah. But I don't know no, cause shit, this is borderline. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For I can't sure. do this. Yeah, I can't do this. Man. You gotta put the bitch in the tub to let her go. <clears throat> you ain't do nothing. Nah, you just see when you, they, drunk, you gotta know the limit. <laughs> when they start twerking, all right, now it's time to advance to fucking. Let's yeah, exactly. they got enough that's in their system. That's why, like, before I had a girl, like, that's why I ain't understand, like, the after hour I'll spot. Like we leave the club. It's yeah. like you wanna go to the after yeah, hour? No. no, these is fucking hours. Exactly. It's three, four in the morning. Yeah. We supposed to be fucking. 
I don't want to be fucking when the sun come up at 7.30. When, when are we going to fuck? When, when yeah. is this going to happen? Yeah, I'm trying to go to the after hours, yeah, nigga. What we doing? I never understood the after hours. After hours yeah, is I'm for the geek mode. Y'all trying to fuck tomorrow, nigga. I'm trying to fuck tomorrow. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I feel like after, after hours, hours is for the geek mode. After hours for niggas that ain't trying to get no pussy. What the hell we going to the after hours for? To do coke. And goddamn, we leaving the club at three thirty. Everybody draw is perfect. Yeah. And now it's time after to fuck. Hours of people that ain't got no bitches. We're still looking. Seven thirty, you coming out? The sun don't came up. The uh, school bus ride past. It ain't even time. The oh, females you know, the got too drunk. What the bitches gotta go pick the up their kids? The after hours you gotta been up all night. Yeah, yeah that bitches look like they've been up. Now they hungry. Now we gotta go to Denny's. Yeah, exactly. Let's oh, go. They want to go to Waffle House. They want to go to Waffle House. Bitch, I'm going to sleep, bro. You think you about to get some pussy? She like drop me off at work. <laughs> get out. I gotta go get my son. No mamas. Nah, that's not Yeah, you me. gotta yeah, you gotta get back to the room before the bitches get hungry. <laughs> it's getting late. Alright, let's get I got some ponder. They, let's they, go to the room. They just some party animals, bro. I I did a lot of I, Let me see. I fuck with the club, but I ain't with all the six, seven spots in one night, then the after hour, then Waffle House, and Why? then brunch. Why? Why? That's how you get your car towed. Some bad you going don't to brunch. Happen. How are we, we going to this? We going to go to brunch. We eating Waffle House at 9 o'clock in the morning. What the hell? When, when are we going to sleep? Right. Right. No, nah, hell no. I don't like that shit with the, with the, with the bitches either. Got For sure. Shit. And then it get too late, too. They got to they gotta clean that cat. It's 8 in the morning. Oh, that, yeah. that cat, I met you at 8 p.m. <laughs> It was fucking boy at 8 p.m. It's 8 in the morning. We got to we gotta fuck another day at this point. I'll see you tomorrow. First of all, the after hour bitches not supposed to see sunlight. They must anyway. Once they you see them, they was supposed to be like, I don't want to fuck you no more. Yeah, that <laughs> that coochie must This shit was great sure. when, the, when, when the sun was down. All after hours vaginas is sour. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, fuck with Yeah, and all it. the titties is salty, too. Mm, yeah, I just really don't get if we go to the after hour, how are we gonna fuck? That's what I be trying I to tell you. I really don't get it. We leaving at 7.30. <laughs> what the hell are we finna do? Go to sleep. It's time to go to sleep. I ain't gonna be out that damn late I'm anyway. I don't fuck around like that. People who, what's that, the, what's that the, what's 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 What's well, y'all out of the game up? You used to pop out. You don't go nowhere in there. I'm not going Carlos no fucking way. Carlos will not way. be at the club no more. Like that, yeah. What's your cutoff for I'm not getting no pussy? Mine? For real? At this age, you get up on it. I, I, at this point, if I ain't got no pussy by this time, it's, it's done. It's, it's crazy. Right. Once it gets to 3 in the morning, you ain't finna fuck. 11.30. It's like 11.30. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11.30 p.m. <laughs> If you don't want to fuck by 11.30, it ain't happening. This ain't uh, making midnight. This ain't going to pussy for midnight. <laughs> no, 11.30. Nine thirty. You want to come give me some pussy? What's your time? Tell me right now so I can go to sleep. I, I don't want to so be up. It's like before my yeah. girl. I got a girl too, but I'm saying before this, yeah, it's before 11.30. That. It's like, me it's like probably like. 3.30, Ooh, fuck that. Yeah, four, four, that's the four, latest. Fuck that's the that. latest. That's four, the best four, time to be asleep. The latest. Four. That's the latest, bro. Because what time the clubs be closing out here? 3 o'clock. 3? Yeah, in California, like it's I 2. Can, I can wake up so four, it's, two. it's 3 for me if mm -hmm. I'm in California. Now You got one hour after the club exactly. close. Exactly. So you if it's Atlanta, we 3, room. nigga, it's 4. Because now I'm, I'm, not, I'm not drunk no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even feeling it no more. I'm really tired. I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep. Yeah. I salute y'all, man. That shit, y'all shit gonna drop too? I feel like you can oh, wake your up. Your tolerance for this shit my gonna shit change. Already, my yeah, shit already dropped. Exactly. Dry. I exactly. told you, soon as you turn, that's what I was telling you. As soon as you turn 30, your tolerance go. Yeah. Hell I yeah. ain't been 30 nothing but a couple months. You know, that motherfucker oh, drop. When do you, yeah. you get in there good? Nah, you go, you go. It's, don't, don't think it's just all down here. Cause you gonna go do some bouts. No, I'm man. happy. You, you gonna? I'm happy that motherfucker drop. Yeah, you gonna? My tolerance you go. for niggas don't drop. I don't yeah. even got tolerance for niggas no more. Oh yeah, for oh, sure. I'm I'm definitely at the age where I walk. I don't give a fuck who it is. It's you gonna hit a few months when you niggas be like, arguing too loud. I'm yeah, twice in the morning. Yeah, twice in the morning. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> you like, I don't know what's going on. Arguing man. about sports. I don't give a fuck. I'm walking out. <laughs> and I don't want to be nowhere where nah. people are in disagreement. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck if a nigga said, nigga, man, do you stand in the juke? Oh, I ain't finna do all this shit. I ain't finna be around all this shit. <laughs> nigga, you argue about some <laughs> shit. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what the argument yeah, is. Nigga, I got McDonald's fries. No, for real. McDonald's fries. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh-uh. Hey, no. Nigga, got an argument no. with a man. Right. 
Man. 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 Man, I For was real. in Memphis at the barbershop. Mm-hmm. This is the true story, no lie. Mm-hmm. The nigga was arguing. It was an old nigga and a young nigga, man. The nigga who was arguing with was sitting in the chair. And the nigga was like, all right, pussy that nigga keep playing. Don't put that foul on your ass, nigga. He said, nigga will kill me then, because I ain't never been dead before. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Man, got, hey, I'm getting the fuck up out of here, bro. I had to get the fuck on. Yeah, people be fighting. I seen, I seen a uh, video. Fighting. No, people be shooting. Nah, that's what I'm people saying. I'm shooting. seeing people that. People don't be fighting no more. Nobody fights shooting. no more. That's all. Nobody over. fights. That's and they, over. it ain't like you. When you hear about shooting, it ain't just like a motherfucker shot somebody one or two times. It's, it's an overkill. Yeah, niggas shooting. got switches on their shit, man. man. Switch a motherfucker, bro. Switch changed the game. Oh, Quick. Nice. Yeah, I seen somebody fight online, and, they, and the skinny dude was like. If you dip me, I'm gonna pull that pole out, pulling pole out. And I'm like, damn, like, niggas can't get, if niggas do fight, you can't, it's like you regulations. You better not win. Yeah, you can't win. Nah, you can't win. Nah, yeah, nah. You can't win. So you think if they set up a program where niggas could actually get niggas that going, shit off, niggas, niggas can't wouldn't fight. go. Niggas wouldn't go. Niggas can't fight. I know, niggas get winded. I don't fought a nigga I thought could fight and find out, boy, you can't even fight. Yeah. Right. But right. you be online talking about you can fight. Like, nigga, man, I don't even joke with nigga because I got no hands. I beat a nigga ass. Then you find out nigga can't fight at all. Yeah. Nigga, then they be back online like, <laughs> like, then they be back online like, hell yeah, yeah cause I got them beaters. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all niggas in denial, but these drugs is a motherfucker. Yeah, fighting, fighting the chains. One thing I learned from jail, like, is like, because niggas ain't even really fighting in jail no more. For nigga, real? Nigga, nigga stabbed me, right? Niggas actually getting shot in Rice Street. Like, nigga don't got shot in Rice Street. Niggas get shot in jail. Man, nigga got shot in Rice Street. How long you been out here? You don't nigga, know about Rice Street? No. Nah, nah I'm nigga not interested shot, at this point. Nigga got shot in Rice Street. I don't, don't want to go. Nigga got well, shot nigga, in Rice Street. you shouldn't want to go. When right. I was on Rice Street, the nigga had a gun. He was like, yo. He was like, yo, man, this a nigga that's dope with a gun. And I know he wasn't capping. Because the nigga had on just got shot not too long ago. It was all on the news. This is Rice Street, man. Yo. Rice Street, look, this is this the ghetto as shit you can imagine working that motherfucker. Your cousin, are like you from what, Oak the Bay, right? Yeah. Just imagine your cousin, your auntie, them from down the street who ain't never been shit working out there at the jail. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I have Rice Street is so um, it's very like, like, it's not common for a nigga to get shot. Yeah, but, but it. You, but you think, of course, one place you're gonna get a fair one is in jail. Now they pull out their pistol on your ass and bust your ass. Cool. <laughs> they got scared you is they put our gun in jail. That nigga got his shank ready. <laughs> All right. You brought a All knife right. to a gunfight? <laughs> <laughs> Bow, man, I call him he does that motherfucker, little nah, deuce deuce. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm like a little dude dude. Yeah, like a little, yeah. Nigga can't be having no hey, switches. Nah, it don't jail. matter, nigga. If you the only one switches, with, so he gonna kill the whole goddamn thing. He gonna be free. All you gotta do is air that motherfucker out, walk out the jail. this bitch a desert eagle. Yeah, what? Yeah. That's a new goose for sure. No, the rocket is to jail. make them little zip guns. Yeah, exactly. Them shit got to blow up in their hands. But if you got a gun in jail, why you just want to try to do some gang shit and get up out of there? Man, come on, man. man. Make it make sense. That. This ain't, ain't the movies. That. They gonna kill you so fast. You shit, no if I had a gun in jail, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'll yeah, fuck around and try to really get out. No okay. nah, Who nah. you think you is, Brian Nichols? <laughs> Your yeah, ass out there with one gun. That nigga only got out the line. <laughs> I know, right? right. 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 With six bullets. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Talking about I'm gonna get myself out. <laughs> right. Shit, I don't know. You find that motherfucker, I'll get a few niggas running. Everybody ain't gonna react. Some guards might be scared to air that motherfucker out. Some run. Man, I'm man, that motherfucker three, got a room full of, full of guns. See, your one right, goddamn. You, you ain't making no <laughs> sense. <laughs> right now. But not I'm type of nigga. One thing I did learn, out. though, is like, like, like you said, any disagreements could turn into anything. Like, it's on my mama, bro. I was in prison, and the whole war popped off between the Crips and the Mexicans. I watched a nigga get his ear cut off. Damn. Like a nigga got hit in the head, his ear came off. I watched a nigga get stabbed up, right? So I end up asking, like, where the hell the shit was about? The old nigga, one nigga stole a pack of tuna. <laughs> nigga stole a pack of tuna, man. A motherfucker, 199 pack of tuna on the street, nigga stole a pack of tuna. Six, seven, eight nigga don't got stabbed. 
Damn. You talking about the principal? Yeah, principal, I always get a nigga fucked up. Man. Damn. Yeah. I agree with principal, but sometimes principal gonna get your ass fucked up. They should be unnecessary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They like. So yeah, I you say like principal, you know, street, be pride. I hear certain shit, I'll be like, look, bro, time to go, man. I ain't. Cause we gonna, I know what we gonna do, so we just gonna get the hell on. Cause yeah. your two other niggas be getting into it, and then it'll turn into how me and you get into it. See? Yeah. Small and shit. Now you don't <clears throat> shot me because you were beefing with him. Hell yeah. And I said, man, y'all nigga tripping. Now you tripping, nigga. Yeah, that's how I had it. I had it, bitch, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it for sure happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of niggas to beat this shit. Tell me, you agree with this nigga? Like, I don't know what y'all niggas arguing about. Man, That's y'all go ahead with that bullshit. All right. That's the number one. Y'all nigga tripping. Nah, you tripping. This yeah. Shit, That's the number one right yeah. now. I don't know. There's it. a lot of niggas that shoot niggas because they couldn't find who they were trying to shoot. Mmm. Uh-huh. Damn. Them niggas was out there. For real, huh? You can get popped because you a nigga cousin. Oh, no, What's your last that's name? Actually, reasonable. Dude. English. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, the whole ear came off. Nah, nigga. Man, that's some shit you can't sleep after seeing. Shit. And you know you in jail. This nigga probably sat there for a minute you with like shit this. Gone. That nigga went to sleep like this. See, I seen like I remember seeing the nigga hit and fall across the door. Ain't got no bitches in there. And then it was like, yeah, the nigga ear came off. He got like a piece of ear on some like. He, my holy veil ear used to look. Damn. That whole ear ain't come out, but but you they so fucked up because you get used to seeing shit like that. So then they throw niggas back on the street after seeing shit like that. You can't expect you to function normally in society. Like right after seeing like, the most terrible shit in the world. Mama's yeah, after seeing all type of shit being treated like a dog, then they just throw you back in society. Like, hey yeah, fuck what happened. Fuck everything you go through. Nigga survive. Back to it. Damn, how long you was up locked in? Uh, I was locked up. I did, I did two years, then I did three years. Damn. Oh uh, yeah, nigga, that's some time. Yeah, yeah, some time. Wish I could get that shit back. That's like when a nigga be like, when a nigga be like, how old you at 30? Mm-hmm. But it hurt for me to say I'm 30 because I missed all these years out of my 20s. Mm-hmm. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. But at the same time, I that can't That could have saved you, though. Yeah, nah, for sure. I ain't complaining. I'm just saying, though, that's the only time it really affected me. When a nigga, like, 20 years old, be like, you 30? Damn, you old. Be like, nigga, I, I ain't really. I'm really 25, for real. I'm really <laughs> one of those. Come on, being outside. Right. Like, I'm really 25, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? But goddamn, that shit kind of hurt, because you be like, damn, bro, I miss. Like, I miss half of 21, 22, half of 25, 26, 27, and I turned 28 in jail. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I have a conversation with somebody and they like, damn, I feel like, damn, I lost the motherfucking years of this bullshit and it's set up for me to lose the year. Mm-hmm. That shit to turn your ass to an activist. Man, you peeped that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You peeped that whole shit. Yeah, you peeped that whole shit. Man, I got it. I'm ready to goddamn start a movement around this bitch. Nah, for real. Yeah. You should. You just seen it, bro. That's it's, fucking crazy. You can be the next Michael Max, nigga. Nah, I'm good. I'm fucking with you. They did it by man. You see how they did it by man? Right. Didn't you see how they did it by man? Right. Right. Yeah. They did it janky. Dirty, boy. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, they right. did that nigga janky. Yeah. Nah, but you peeped the scheme yeah, on that like other, other prison shit while you was in there. Yeah. The Jay, whole setup. Jay, am I allowed to say something? No. All right, cool. Never mind. <laughs> Stay tuned, y'all. All right, bitch. Yeah. Right. Big dog said I can't speak on certain shit. I feel you. That's the big dog right there. He's trying to keep you right. Man, everybody in the world knows. Now we got some shit. We got some shit in the cut. Yeah. Some coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just can't speak on it because my big homie told me, nah. Okay. Triple O J. <laughs> Listen to Jay. She know what the fuck she talking about. Oh no, nah, sure. Yeah. Every nigga in Atlanta know you. When a nigga got them coming up in the music, you gotta go stop and holler at baby Jay. She just know. She could pick it. She could pick talent. Mm-hmm. She got all that fake crying. <laughs> now Jay the one. Man, me and Jay go way back to the to the strip club days, the comedy club days. What the hell? How far? How far back is that? Shit, how far back? Is it? Like sixteen. Mm-hmm. Damn, young, wild, and free. You know how them Atlanta women are. They get outside. CPM. They be outside. So what Jay was wearing back then, like she had like the slop socks with the goddamn, with the, with the jersey dress? Man. Shit, I don't know. 
<laughs> nah, Jay, she been out here in these streets putting it down, though, man. Nah, for sure. Hell of a grind. I don't know what I'd do without Jay. Shit. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> Talking big shit. Yo. Rico Cash, Louis yeah. Belt, and none other than Clayton English. You know what it is. Rico, what's coming up next, man? I'm working on this deluxe project, man, and I'm, I'm really going to put another project out, man. Probably, like, October. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to say a lot. Like, after I had my son, after I had a little certain situation going on, I kind of fell back. I kind of just chilled out. Like, I ain't planning on it, but that's how life works sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I ain't fully pushed my project like I wanted to this year. Because my shit, like... Niggas love that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm working on now, I'm gonna drop a deluxe. Add a, I got some features on there. And then I'm right now, I'm just working on my next project. And I'm gonna try to put it out like right before the fourth quarter type shit. You know what I'm saying? And go from there. Uh, Who you got on that deluxe? I don't I can't say it. I got some names, I got some shit y'all about that. How many more you gonna give them? Like six. I got some more oh, music, shit. man. I don't, it be hard, like, I don't know what to do, like I really, so my, my buddy trying to tell me to drop an EP, but I'm like, shit, I just want to drop a deluxe. I, don't, I just want to add these songs on there. Mm -hmm. Because I be like so critical, I be critiquing my shit so much. If I do an EP with six songs, five songs, I'm going to be right there all day, all night trying to put these songs in order. Right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> right. And I really just want to add some songs to the end of the last shit because it ain't even, I didn't finish doing what I supposed to do. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? So, but uh. Hell yeah. Working on, bro. Man, well, drop your social media right. so they'll know where to get in touch with uh, you. Rico Cash one of one on Instagram. Rico Cash one on one on Twitter. Uh, threads. Rico Cash one on one. Y'all got threads? Yeah, threads. I, I told you. That's the Instagram and Twitter. Just, I'm, pro I'm, I'm, I'm at that age where I'm probably on my last little run on social media, man. <laughs> <laughs> You need to get your nephew. You need to get your yeah. nephew to make you a thread. Or man, something. man, somebody finna had to run Twitter me a no fan more. page, man. Ain't, ain't shit gonna be mine on that bitch, but the quotes. I, fo I follow you on Twitter though. You be tripping though. Hey man, I you talk on Twitter though. Oh Twitter. But Twitter yeah. ain't Twitter no more. You know it's X, right? Well, whatever yeah. it is, I'm still gonna yeah, be on there talking. Saying, you gonna stay on Twitter as X? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Until they start making niggas pay. Why he do that? He just hated them niggas that much. He ain't like that bird. Why he buy that? Like that. It's Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram. Twitter. I mean, they compel them. It's like Twitter by Instagram. They so rich, they just doing shit. That's right. Like, I fuck nigga, I the same app you make. Well, nigga. I don't. That nigga bought Twitter <laughs> just to name that one. shit X. They run out of shit to make X. Z. Hey, man, fuck your company. Nigga, you bought it. <laughs> Why you want to fuck it up after you bought it? Nigga, like. They got too much money, they bored. Yeah, them niggas bored. They just bored with life. They just doing stuff. Now they yeah. in a motherfucking competition with each other of who got the most money and who could do the most random shit. Don't, that's why I say don't ask me to help. Shit. Niggas almost got a trillion dollars. Don't ask me to help. <laughs> <laughs> ask that nigga, man. <laughs> ask him, bro. You ain't helping? Fuck no. What you want me to do? Say the animals what I'm gonna keep them at my house. Get the fuck out my face, man. Motherfucker asked me if I wanted to donate some money to the military. I said the same military with the unlimited budget. <laughs> for what? No. What, what they missing? Niggas got missiles. What all they ain't got of shit. no money for? You got money if you got a missile. <laughs> my nigga, you got that's jet. expensive. Now, you know how much it costs for one man. And they got thousands of them bitches. They got money. And we really think your, about it. We gonna use your thirty dollars to build another missile. No right. the fuck they ain't. That ain't yeah, gonna ain't buy gonna do shit. the fuse on that motherfucker. That's gonna buy a screw. We be selling PS4s, all type of shit to get a little 380. These niggas hey, got missiles. So let me ask you a question, Mark. All right, bet. You go to church? Yeah. Do I you, have been. Do you make offerings at church? <laughs> yeah, and then I don't go a lot, so I, I gotta make up for the time I wasn't there. Okay. I, act like I just I wanted to get, it. I be wanting to get people some perspective on that. Yeah, but see, because the money don't, it's not, it's not that you paying money to the, for the church, that's for the, yeah, it's, for it's the expenses, man. Yeah. People, people got, people know that. 
Only thing about it though, when you make an offer at church, then the church, the pastor pull off in a helicopter and be like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That nigga pull off, man. What you say, nigga? He working for the Lord. He pull off in a heli, a helicopter. He pull off in a helicopter. Rolls Bentley truck. Yeah, you gotta be a good preacher to back that shit up. Don't worry about what God want me to have. Cause see, that helicopter ain't got nothing to do with this church business. God I, wanted me to have this helicopter. I had that helicopter before I got into the ministry. I had to have a helicopter to Pastor, see God, to be closer you to God. Helicopter on. Now see, I was a real straight nigga. I bought my first helicopter in 1996. <laughs> that was me with the candy-coated helicopter. <laughs> candy-coated. The and then God put a calling on my life. And I just so happened to have four helicopters. I yeah. was saying, man, it began like, I don't know, man. Because you got to keep in mind, bro, even if they fucking the money up, that's between them and, and God. Because you up. did your part. Because you, you right. gave it with pure intentions. You, now, now you whatever right. happens after okay, that. Okay, okay. Like All right. Well, what if you get up there and God like, come that on, is bro. Hard to that, crack come on, you can't tell. So Look, crack. he finessing. You didn't see this? If you want to be like, like that. Like if you, if a crackhead comes to you and asks for money for food, and you give the nigga money for food. I used to sell crack. He, it's harder for me to get the money to him. And it's not your problem. You're getting your blessings because you donated it because the nigga said he needed to eat. Or are you, you know, enabling him to smoke crack? crack? Yeah, you're helping him. Are you enabling him to smoke crack? You're enabling him to do what he asked him to do, which was feed himself. But the no, past, buy him but, the food thing. Don't give him the money so he know he's buy him the food. The pastor got more money than you. Crackheads you be thinking You know the crackhead different. ain't got as much money as you. The pastor, you know he got more so money than you. So he should be getting the money what to the, the crackheads. Smoke some crack. Then I would. I would <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how good the sermon is. That was a good one. <laughs> if it made, if it made him spit a better sermon. You can't even put it past him. You can't even put it past him. Right. Man, look, you we got you. Move. He was energetic. That was a that nigga was I went about the one pastor, though, who who got some Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, see, I'm just saying, you get the money, the pastor fuck it up, he ain't going to heaven. Now, what if we all wrong because we're giving God the wrong currency? Right. What if he don't accept U.S. currency? Oh. What if he really want us to be tipping him in gold coins or shillings? Or oh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> Some electronic money. He what? wants you to tip. He really wants you to just live right. What if God is exactly. in the crypto you currency? Want to live right not to pay my, you spend my money and just live right. Exactly. What if he wanted you to bring him the money just when you got him? That's all he wants. What do you want me to ask for forgiveness and thank him? Like you don't owe me, just show me, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what God's saying. Hey, man, you know that money from Earth roll over. <laughs> 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 Look, at Look, at Look at your account. Look at your account. Look at your account. I spent money at the church. <laughs> Jesus, you stop doing your own shit. You double I'm going to show him. I'm not going to owe him. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you just don't want to spend no money at the church. Shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Get them offers, man. Get that up out of your heart. Nigga. God gonna what about you all the more. money that you offer is with the money you got in heaven. So if you ain't offer shit, you ain't you heaven broke in here. <laughs> Let me like save my money for heaven. Give me no money. So I got some money at the You got to live with this That's cold. 15 cent for the rest of your goddamn eternity. No, nigga. no you don't get to stay in this part, nigga. <laughs> You down there in South Heaven, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass down there, boy. But what if God... Oh, uh, put that halo back. That ain't yours. Yeah. Oh. That's yours. Everybody going to go broke at the gates. Your kid ain't spit your money at the church. Your kid ain't spit your money the That motherfucker turn the color. That's just, that's just, that's just wobbly to the what? bitch. It won't what if God only judge you off the good shit you did? Yeah. How much good shit did you do? Yeah, for sure. The fucked up part is, what if you get in trouble for the bad shit you didn't do, but that... You did anyway. Now, what if you get up there and you didn't do as much good shit as you thought you did? Mm. Like, you ain't do enough good shit to get in here. Fuck your bad shit. Ain't nobody even looking at that. You still didn't even do enough good shit to get in here. Mm. He gonna show you all the times that you could have helped the motherfucker and you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's hard with nothing. You know what's gonna crazy. fuck you up, though? What if you did help people, then you get up there and he's like, ah. You helped the wrong motherfuckers. You wore, you wore the, you, you know, them, them, them outfits you wore was made by slave labor. So what about when you wanted to do some Oh, nigga, that shit, ain't my fault. But you couldn't afford to do the good shit, or you just, you wanted to, but you didn't do it. Did you pray? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See? I like the inquiry, man. Right. <laughs> That's the least you can do. But it's like, That's the least you can do. Dear Lord, I'm sorry point. I ain't do nothing when I should have did so. I'm just saying. 
Uh-huh. I'll do better. But if you don't do better, then you fucking up. Right? This shit didn't got too deep. Yeah. This shit didn't got too deep. I don't know where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> Some people pray and just don't, don't say they're going to do better. Dear Lord, let me make it through this so I can do it again tomorrow. <laughs> now, see, that might be the right way to pray, as long as you ain't lying. God might let it slide. Right. Niggas Long do be lying in their prayers. Let me get back to it tomorrow, Lord. Please let me live. Right. Hey, Lord, I got <laughs> drunk at work today. Would you forgive me? I, I, I might do it again, but I don't know. <laughs> I ain't going to get ass drunk. I'm just saying, until I do it again, me and you good, right? I said, have you ever been praying and lied in your prayer and you knew you were lying in your head? I don't, I don't think it worked like that. I don't think right. you can lie in a prayer. I'm sure you, you just, can. You can just lie. Whoever you just talking about, just lie. I, I can't. Me personally. Okay, okay, I mean, okay. You ask me. I can't see it happening. Because even if I was thinking of lying, God would pop in and be like, man, I'm not lying. That's what I'm saying. All of a sudden, you just stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> stop the cap. <laughs> no, because that place that you pray from, that's supposed to, I don't even think you that's can lie thoughts. in that place. Yeah, exactly. You niggas, shouldn't niggas, be. Niggas, niggas yeah. lie. It depends on, hey, place. wait a minute. Niggas will lie on any any place they can lie in. It might depend on who you, you praying to. I, I know some though. niggas, I know some niggas, man. Niggas do lie anywhere. They in complete denial. But that's what I'm saying. They you might pray to the devil. Yeah, but they get, like they, you know you can't you lie to yourself and you can't lie to God, so. I got a nigga that try to lie to God. They probably No, you can lie to yourself, right? No, because you you're the only person who's Because you know, know you're lying to right. yourself. Yeah. Sometimes people can believe. People can't believe their own lies. Though. That's what I mean by that. That's what I'm saying. Like, a nigga be like, man, I swear to God, I ain't drinking tomorrow. No damn way he going to drink tomorrow. <laughs> but he really mean it. So at this point, where we at? Like, I'm confused. He you know don't mean it. He don't mean it. Yeah, he, he lying to himself. Mean. He no, know he lying. He lying to you. Yeah, and you want somebody else to believe it. That nigga knew he was gonna drink if if there was a yeah, tomorrow. I don't know how nigga a compulsive lie think like. I know they want real, somebody else to believe. I know some exactly. real compulsive lie, but I'm, I'm they don't lie so much that I'm convinced that they don't know they lying. They don't know they have a problem. Well, you know what it be? That's because they having a whole different experience than we are. But that's being delusional, right? Yeah, for sure. exactly. No, the motherfuckers that lie all the time. They don't fucking get called on it because it take too much energy to sit there and be like, my nigga, you know that's not the truth. Yes, it is. And then they go through all the no, bullshit. I'm calling your ass out. I'm going to tell you, bro, you lying. Right. You lying, so, bro. That's so lying. that's but why they think they're good at lying because a lot of people, they, they got away with it so about, many oh, times. Yeah, sure. And then they meet somebody who like, yeah, bro, what the mental, fuck are you talking about? That shit don't make And then they like. No, bro, what I'm saying is, yeah, no, nigga. You yeah. gotta keep in mind, some people. It's hard for niggas to admit it. But Speak. people be lying about shit you can't prove, too. It's like, nigga, I was really thinking about this shit you can prove. No, it's like, I, I can't prove that. I'm talking about that nigga that's head. lying about shit that you can prove. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga, yeah. I can prove the shit, nigga. Yeah. No, you didn't. Think of how many <laughs> times they done told that lie to people who just don't even give a fuck to even ask if they lying. A lot. That's how people think they good at lying, because nobody check them. Like, yeah, it, just, it ain't even a check. It's just like, man, I don't give a fuck if you lying or not. You, you got it. Yeah. Because a job don't give a They just going to fire you. If they don't that. believe you lie, they're like, well. Think about it. Think about how you got the job. You had to fill out an application for the last. You had to act yeah. like you good terms with your last three jobs. And they, and they <laughs> lying, acting like they give a fuck about what you lying about. Bro, they don't you put your they own, want you to do the job. You put your little brother and your homeboys down as your references. <laughs> yeah. This job ain't give a fuck enough to even see if that, this was bullshit. Or not. <laughs> I call it you your ain't called none of these places that you asked me about. You knew I wasn't good at this <laughs> job when you <laughs> saw my fucking handwriting. It depends on what job, though. <clears throat> It depends on what job. Yeah, you're right. We like talking you about some... low-value jobs. <laughs> low-value street shit. Oh, so like McDonald's and yeah, yeah. Arby's and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. Arby's my call, though. I don't think like that. Arby's going to hire you yeah. on the spot. <laughs> They're not even about to let you <laughs> go Arby's home. They appreciate you, you just coming there. in. Yeah. Ar- what? Yeah. You want to open this? You start right now, baby. You ain't going to take my shirt. <laughs> and be like, hey, you had a day off the week. You feel out the whole implication? <laughs> You know the register, right? Just push that. That's uh, it. That's all anybody gonna order. Anybody order shit else? Just push that. They hella happy. Damn, yeah, my boy, you do this Appreciate shit quick. You with us, man. What size shirt you wear, my man? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the application, my nigga. Just come on, man. Come on. Paperwork. You got your, 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 your shoes gonna slip a little bit, so just spread your legs wide. Right, so you don't, <laughs> you just start right wide. You gonna be good. Oh my God. Nigga.
That shit crazy. Hey, go turn your car off, man. I want to. Uh, Wait a you... minute, we talking about lying. What about old girl? You think she a compulsive old girl who says she saw the baby? It got oh, kidnapped. Oh. Carly, Carly, yeah. No, nah, she got caught lying today. Yeah, they said it. Yeah. He announced it the day her lawyer said that she was lying. Yeah, yeah but we knew she was lying. I knew she was, I ain't gonna lie. I knew she was lying too. Man, yeah. when it first out, I was like, something fishy about this shit. I ain't even I ain't need to do that. I ain't tell tell my girl, like, I don't want to say that because this girl fuck around and be dead. Right. Now I don't say right. something. But I promise I was right. going to tell my girl, like, something Bro, what fishy black woman this. you know going to leave her wig somewhere? She left her wig? Exactly. I right. didn't know that. Oh, yeah. See, that, right. was, that, was the first, that was the first one. For, what happened, I think I think her lie was too big. It was too elaborate. It was too I big. She, was she said she saw a baby a white on the baby. side of the road. On the side of the road. Now you got the world Why like, where the baby this? at, bitch? Red, baby. First red flag. I like that bitch they slow. looking for the baby more than they was looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> first, fuck, fuck, you went missing. You seen a baby walking down the side of the expressway? Nobody else seen. What he was wearing? He had to be a toddler. Yeah. You seen a baby? Baby. That's what scared me. He was a baby. A baby he couldn't hold his neck up right, and he was walking. At night. That's why I was scared. <laughs> a baby. A baby. Everybody like. Hold and on. the baby knew to be on the side. Walking <laughs> down the highway. <laughs> baby talking about go around. <laughs> it's nothing to see here. Baby pulling. No, I'm good. He waving off rides. I'm good. I got a ride. Baby. I tried to get the baby. The baby waved me off. He said he good. <laughs> The baby, man. Yeah, that's the bitch ain't think they got that spritz where they had them cameras. They got cameras They're 20, everywhere. 23. Man. Right. Smart ass. Right. Jesus, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say like, cause they riding her ass on the internet. But she deserve it though. I think the best thing for her to do is just stay off the internet and really go seek help. Yeah, man. Yeah. Just just figure that's, out that's what you needed to make that lie, that, that lie. Sometimes, what clicks to make you oh, decide you that you're going to do that? Right Everybody now, out here, and you know the real liars out there watching this Because she might be shit. on some marketing shit. You got to think, we all know her name. She might come out with a nah. mixtape or something. She got fired, bro. They fired her from her job. That's what I'm saying. She really got a reason to rap now. Hey, she got fired. Y'all going to keep in mind, too, bro. <laughs> you might it's Alabama. She <laughs> might fuck around and get charged. She might fuck around they and be locked said, up. They said authorities are seeking... Uh, what charges to put on that? Oh, there? yeah. Files, yeah false police report and all this old bullshit. Roy Wood Jr. said, be easy with the memes, because their memes will turn into, damn, they gave her five years real quick. I said, damn. Yeah. I mean, shit, I ain't going to lie to I ain't gonna say they need to give her no time. They need to make an example out of her because that shit ain't cool. Man, yeah, that ain't it's cool. Too, we too far along to keep making examples out of motherfuckers. It's already enough examples. <laughs> Please stop making examples out of one. motherfuckers. It's a new one. A I baby? Know. No, you don't think she's gonna make an example out of her? Nah, man, stop Next all this making examples, man. Also, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So they need to go ahead and stop this before babies nah, start No, because flying. I bet if you look hard enough, it's a white woman who've already done this before. Probably, yeah. For sure. Um, this oh, yeah. it was the white lady who said the black dude took a kid. Exactly. And she. But it started yeah. off with Emmett Till, first of all. This is oh, you go back. You feel you what, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But a baby wasn't walking down the expressway, though. This I now want to know who the fuck let She's that part. That was one of the first things. In my, hold on. Hold on. Everybody did. She should have said she lost her kids. Everybody was strong. Like, oh, I baby, look for my car keys in the woods. You got to watch your, you gotta watch your girl, though, once they done revealed that the bitch line. Because if your girl, like, why did she do that? She should have just crashed her car. <laughs> I said, this bitch. <laughs> she plotted. Like, plot dump the shit. Like, okay, yeah, That's right. your idea. She should have just crashed her car, I'm sure. If you the worst part is, the way she what? got, the way they called her bluff was she Googled uh, the movie <laughs> Taken. Oh, yeah. That yeah. kiss everybody like that. Yeah. She Googled sure. how, does it? How much does an Amber Alert cost money? That's what I'm saying. Like, you got to be the dummy criminal in the world. You ain't never committed a crime in your life. Why <laughs> start with this one? An elaborate scheme. I was trying to kidnap myself. <laughs> she kidnapped herself and decided to say she saw a baby walking down this curve. She but did that she, for clout, bro. But somebody said, what they say? They said, she didn't tell us she was missing. Right. She didn't say that. She never said that. She told her family. She told her family. Her family told these folks that. So imagine if you want to tell your cousin some shit, and your cousin on blew this shit way up. You like, bitch, I ain't tell you the goddamn on CNN with this shit. I, what? 
What? what if she didn't even say that? What if she didn't even say she saw a baby? She said, man, I'm over here kicking it with, with my, my baby. baby. <laughs> you know, I'm over here with my baby. I'm about to goddamn jump out. I right? see them walking And I'm finna go missing on his ass. Wow. Then she leave. Yeah, drunk she leave, bro. They said she seen the baby on the side of the road. Cause that's how she go, though. She was listening to the you baby. Might be that's, on that's, how that's how that shit go like a nigga take a Bam. story. Man, I don't heard some stories about myself. I be like, for real? I ain't no way y'all came up with this one. Oh, Motherfucker mixed it up. That's what that's what they were saying, I heard. But then she came back with money in her stock. She went to go sell some pussy real quick. Oh, she went to go sell some coochie. <laughs> yeah, she went to go sell some pussy and said, I came up missing because she didn't want to tell the dude she was selling some pussy. The bitch trying... sneak selling pussy? She was so imagine pussy. trying to sneak off. Sneaking and freaking. And you sneaking off and then sneaking you go to CNN, you on CNN. Somebody you seen a baby walk down the street. <laughs> no, you almost had a baby, bitch. You was selling pussy. You probably be mad. Hey, you fucked up in there. Damn. Hey, man, this might not be her fault. We need, she need us as a legal team. She need at least three episodes on yeah, the FX cause, series. Because I ain't going to lie, because it got a strong case. Yeah, yeah hey, she got a case. My client never said this. Right, right. It's hearsay. It's all hearsay. It was a cousin. <laughs> Motherfucker, objection, your honor. Hearsay. <laughs> I never said none of this. Because we still ain't have from her yet, really. She then ain't said none of her lawyer, Her lawyer just said it. Her lawyer, yeah. no, her lawyer admitted to it, though. Her lawyer That's why it. he ain't gonna let her talk. Let me see what I can do first. Right. Be yeah. quiet. Yeah. I gotta work my move. Don't say shit yet. I might still be able to say this thing. I never said I was missing, actually. Right. That's I don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah, that's all she said. But you know I'm the cold part about nigga. being, being said, a black woman, I'm on the expressway. She gonna go live one day on Instagram and just ignore all the comments about that. Mm, anyway, whatever. <laughs> no, yeah, gonna, yeah, 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 missing, whatever. Y'all say the same shit all the time. Like, <laughs> she gonna say some slick shit. Did y'all miss me? <laughs> like, damn, did you even look for a bitch? <laughs> If you, if you didn't look for me, shut the fuck if up. If you didn't look for me, get the fuck off my lap. If you didn't look for me, get the fuck off my lap. Where was y'all when I was missing? <laughs> that shit crazy, man. That shit crazy here. I knew that shit wasn't right, though. I ain't gonna even lie. You gotta be careful, though, because so many people be missing, and they be finding the bodies and shit. So I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, speak you know what? You, you, I mean, you, you just wish for the shit. best. I wish for the best. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm alive one but, day where they just find a whole bunch of motherfuckers all at once, and then they be like, it was horrible. I gotta tell you, man, they got a whole fucking network down there, man. There's millions of people down there. Motherfuckers been missing since the late 70s. It's, it's working down there. It's down where? Well. I can't tell you what shit is, man, but I'm telling you, man, it's some, it's some other shit. It's, it's under this motherfucker. It's, they got a, it's, it's a way that they had put us underground, but we, it was another sun under that bitch. And <laughs> shit, way right, right. right. Shit underground, but it's in, inside. Inside underground. They got a whole place full of missing people. The hey, man, before was, you come on my page. The problem was the family got up there and told their cap ass lie, man. But see, they said the daddy wasn't in on it because he was looking... That nigga rolled his eyes he a couple times. He knew she was bullshitting. I know my lying ass dog. He know he I, know, I, know, I know she's selling pussy. He ain't never been with your partner. Man, I'm the only one, He just get a line and he really like... Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that nigga just put his head like... Come That's on. what he was doing, like... Fuck. Yeah. Man, this girl, I knew that girl wasn't right. Yeah. I told her she we should kept her ass in summer school that year. Pop was the only one I knew she was selling it. Yeah, that was fucked up though, man. She shouldn't pull that one. Now yeah, she got to deal with it. She famous. She went viral. That's she all that matter nowadays. But how do you live some shit like that now, though? What do you do next? Drop a mixtape. Drop a mixtape. I'm <laughs> no, telling y'all, she finna run the game. No. You have, a, you have ice spice and six red on that motherfucker. You feel me going crazy? I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing. All these bitches looking for me. What the fuck? And she gonna do a whole bunch of screens too. She yeah. gonna make a bankroll. She gonna make a slap on mamas. She need to host a hide and seek event. <laughs> He's there, honey. Oh, that'll go crazy. Bitch, I can go get it. Bitch, have yeah. search parties. <laughs> Find Carly in your city and you win a thousand dollars. Search parties. 
Oh, that'd be popping. She gonna be hosting search parties. This bitch gonna be hiding out in different disguises. <laughs> that nigga crazy here, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga hey, that's gonna be popping though. All they gotta do is have some hookah, have some drinks. She see this shit, she gonna be you like, find Damn. It, you find yeah, a female, they twerking and shit. Okay, you found me? Yeah. Yo, yep. it's popping yep. this motherfucker. Search One nigga won a thousand. Search party. Yep. That's why they that's why they gonna charge her at right there. They ain't gonna charge her till she do some shit she ain't got no business doing. Yeah. I like have an Easter egg hunt. Shit like that. <laughs> now they gonna charge your ass. You ain't got no business soon, doing it. Soon as she get that uh that page with them bundles uh, jumping, they gonna lie. Yeah. Take it too far. Yeah. You know, they Birmingham, they petty, they'll let us yeah. ride. Man, they found my truck with nothing but a pair of Jordans and some blue jeans in that bitch. <laughs> Y'all been looking for me? I was, I was, uh... Man, them bitches came and scooped me up. Man. You ain't seen my TikTok? Six bad bitches <laughs> fucked the shit out of me. She gotta do a jack beat on that mystical song. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah, I man. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't missing. Somebody looking for me. <laughs> uh, I ain't missing. I'm just ran through. <laughs> Damn. I ain't missing. I'm just ran through. Oh. Oh, man. We trying to help. <laughs> we trying to help the shit. community. <laughs> we trying to help the community. She grew up that plot on her next one. First, the baby was wild. Cause obviously she can't think of good shit on her own. Yeah, she need a nigga. That lie was terrible. Oh, uh, right. I don't think this is the worst shit we gonna hear though. Is the year? It's still kind of early in oh, the year. Shit. We gonna hear a lie worse than this? Mm. Yes. Somebody gonna try to lie worse than this. This Soon. is big. Soon. Yeah, this is big, bro. This is CNN. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Yeah, that's big. Right. They said she was over in a hotel. She a lying legend. They said she was over in a hotel fucking. That might not be true, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a possibility. Is she a ghetto legend? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, we don't know if she going to we'll know if she going to if she beat the case. If she beat the case, she get on that shit. Then we'll bring on the show. She a lion legend though right now. We'll bring oh, on she's the show. Why if she she if, a lion legend. The show. If she don't, don't know, get no crazy. charges. Are you a lion legend if you get caught? Nah. Wouldn't you be a legend see if your lie never got caught? This nigga lie every day on go viral. She went viral for lying. Nah, that white bitch just said that shit about Emmett Till. That's the lion legend. She, her life rode for a long fucking time. You got this girl she fucked died. up. She a line legend. She, she thought what about motherfucking when babies. What to her to do the show and she DM back 25000 Nah. <laughs> Bitch, get that $100 out your sock. I'm going to say, where you want me to send it to? No. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it? You ain't got it yet? Must be something on y'all end, because this say sent on my end. Hit her ass with some karma. Just say we going to pay it. And then when she come, be like, we lying. We fucking with you. I need to get on the show. Get and taste of your own medicine. Somebody need to get ass on the show. They don't have an CNN. No I don't show. think she ready to do no interview. Right. Honestly, bro, she really, this shit might change her life for the better, though. She should come on. What she if she get on? Oh, man. She man. For the rest of her life, she was nobody in the middle of nowhere. Now everybody know her. Everybody she's gonna, uh, she, she gonna flip the script. Somebody around gonna have some sense to be like, look, you know you benefit out of this. Shit, I'm, I'm like, man, everybody ain't supposed to talk. Everybody ain't supposed to be famous. Everybody's supposed to get interviewed. But that's the problem with the internet. What now is, anybody can be famous. Uh, yeah. Now you can say you seen a baby walking out of Expressway, now you famous. What yeah. if she get up there and keep lying? Okay. She is. You it think wasn't she's a done? baby. It was a monkey. Okay? <laughs> it was a it was a monkey. <laughs> and, I'm sorry. I thought, it was a per- I thought it was a baby. It was actually an adult. <laughs> he magic. threw magic in my face and <laughs> made me disappear. He was a leprechaun. <laughs> Damn, man. So we might have, like, there's plenty of niggas in America that get on TV and lie every month. Oh, every yeah. day. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. typical. That's all politicians. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's not the worst but, lie we're going to hear. black. She a lying legend. She black. I don't know. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. Well, they comparing her to Jesse. What's the nigga name? Smoulette or whatever the fuck. Juicy Smoulette. <laughs> Smoothie. <laughs> she talked that. She talked that, bro. His was believable. Nah. Nah, I, didn't, I never believed that it nigga. He lasted a little bit. I never believed him. I said, how long, how long he lasted? No, nah, because he made it seem like some motherfuckers some were walking Africans. around or recognized in, him. in Chicago with a fucking already tied noose. 
Nobody's walking around with a fucking noose. At two in the morning. Not the even nigga. the most racist racist has a noose tag. You got that walking noose around ready? Chicago of all places. With, with bleach in a noose? You got he that noose ready? He was famous though, right? That nigga said he got yeah. kidnapped by some gay African in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a wild ass with a noose. That is entertaining. Most white people, <laughs> hey. Crazy. And the nigga said he was going to get something to eat at Subway at two in the morning. That's it. See, now that I'm listening to the story, this shit sound like he was on shrooms. Mm. But that that story. That sound worse. like some shroom shit, too. Now, see, the, the worst part of the shit is, is that it's so many, like, black and Mexican women and children that are really missing. Yeah. So that's why it's going to be hard for her to get past that's why the, Yeah, right. mama. Because yeah. it's yeah. not like, oh, I'm, I'm lying about a nigga beating me up and all shit like that. Like, this, they don't. this is really fucking up the movement and the progression of them trying to really find people of our color. Yeah. That, that matter. I agree. Them folks could have paid her to do that. that would America it could have been a plan. <laughs> like, we we ain't finna keep looking for the motherfuckers, so just lie for us. Now, so see, we can say we done looking for everybody. Now Lou, like, hey Lou, now you own the sum. They could have paid her something. off. Somebody said something. Be like, we try to look for one of y'all. Yeah, I didn't elect her though. Like her out of all people. Because you know? she in a random city. Go to Facebook and type in R, the first name that popped up. Yep. And shit, elected one of them. Yeah, they probably made it sound good. Yeah. They probably recruited her from lying. And they picked a little small town because you could throw a little something, something, a little 1500. We need a distraction. Bitches in Atlanta and shit. Hell, hell no, nah, I need 50,000 to be having my face out there. Pick a little small town, a little nobody ass girl. I got 1500 for you to lie. Say you seen a little white baby on the street all you so we can do, stop looking for black women. All you got to do is say this. She did that shit for 1500 She did it for 1500 yeah. <laughs> For sure. Shit. Yeah, but you made sense, though, when you said they might have paid it off just so they don't got to find nobody. Yeah. <laughs> what the really best you can do? It was a joke. It was a joke. Mamas. Well, look here, man. We was about to wrap this shit up and got to talking for a bad. whole nother know, 20 right? minutes. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to stay on these current events. Shit, these are hot topics over here. Rico, this is your first time stopping through the trap, but don't let it be your last. When you drop the deluxe, man, come back and let's talk about that shit. So look here, 85 South Show, Rico Cash. We out this bitch. Yeah! Let's get a photo. My Appreciate that one.